Hey guys, so I've been a little busy and a little tired combo, and uh, I got this on 9-24-23, around 6 a.m. It's called Change Reveals. The soon approaching changes reveal the ones who come in the sorrows. They hear my voice and report for duty. The enemy now tries to undermine them with every challenge he has access to throw at them, but they do not waver. The evil one aims to make war. He aims at those living faithful lives for me. Some he distracts enough to change their direction. Some he aims at distracting, but they stand firm. For those that stand firm, he aims more demons and higher authorities afterwards. In your times are much more difficult than in times past. But he has also had those he inspired with science and technology to cause lasting health issues, diseases, monitoring, aimed at human attacks. These gave him a new advantage that complicated the lives of many in your times, though normal to you have been the hardest in human history, in that they have seemed peaceful, but the war against you has been very stealth. This is why your generation remains complacent. They do not know another way, and they have been lulled to sleep amongst all the evil and darkness. It seems normal to them. This all changes very soon. What the kings mean to strike terror so people are in obedience will be an alarm clock for my own. They will awaken and cry out to me. The kings intend their plans to cause men to blindly comply, fearfully obey, and transition to their version of a new normal in defeated compliance. They have not considered what I can or will provide for my own and that this will awaken mine to understand that there are choices and that I hold the hopeful option. They have not considered that in a crisis without their knowledge, people often cry out to me. These two elements, two elements that have slipped their observation, will be their powerful defeat. Before they go, the anointed will be my witnesses to the world around them that I am alive and real and that I provide powerfully for my own. As the king's plans occur, one by one played out like a chess game, as if designed by a computer which has no ability to understand the human spirit, the draw of my people who I know will come to me through my son Jesus will see the provisions and protections in miraculous things of my obedient faithful and they will be drawn to faith to understand I am alive and the stories of old are not fake but real. They will awaken in a mighty way. My faithful will be living out scripture. They will not be overcome by evil. They will overcome evil with good. They will be strong and courageous just like Joshua and the Israelites. And they will not be terrified. And they will conquer in simple faith and obedience. When they are afraid, they will trust in me just like David. They will be kind to each other tender-hearted, forgiving each other, just as Jesus did. They will be making disciples and baptizing them in my name and in the name of my son Jesus and in the name of the Holy Spirit. I will bring them home exactly how Paul described. They will see Jesus in the sky and they will be brought up into the clouds and be snatched away to heaven in the rapture. My faithful who follow my lead will be living out the truth that if God is for you, no one can be against you. Those who have devoured their Bibles know I am speaking scripture. 
those who have squandered their time, say these words are blasphemy. Woe to the latter! Repent and avoid consequences. If you do not hear my voice within these words, you do not know me or my son. Hold tight to me, and no harms shall befall you. Those with true faith, your names are written in a book and marked for protection and provisions. Anything written in this book is law and will occur. The armies of angels already in place. See that they arrive before the need arises. Even if you do not see or sense them, my angels are in place. My faithful, your provisions already set. Pray to release my angels to work freely with my full power. Stay pure of heart and stay clear from evil, darkness, and wickedness. Recall, worship draws angels and repels demons. Reading my word makes you invisible to demons. Praying attracts and empowers angels to defend you versus demons. To make the ease of days while others without me go through the time of sorrows, worship, pray, and read my words, and focus on my son's words, and be sure to be in full obedience to them. Recall the words of my son that those who love him also obey. Stay in obedience and do not give any opportunity to the evil one. Pray over your place of residence. Pray for its protection and provisions. Pray for it to be cleared of evil forces and darkness. Pray for it to be seen as holy ground. Pray for it to be a welcome place for angels. Pray for the empowerment of your angels to continually defend it on your behalf. Pray it is a safe place for you and any I bring to you. Pray over any you live with that their chains are broken if they are not full of faith. Pray all you interact with see Christ in you. Be blessed as all these things unfold. Those with full faith will be my witnesses to the world that I am love, provisions, miracles, compassion, kindness, omniscient, omnipresent, and truly alive. Be my witnesses. Be bold for me and stand firm in faith. Be my hope to the world. Those who testify of me, those who house others, those who share my love, those who share the gospel, those who tell of my provisions, those who keep my words and obey, those who pray, worship, and read, these all have my special protections. No harm will come to these. Now, um, I was told to look up the verses that were referenced within the text and then read them as um, a proof that the words are indeed in referencing the words of the Bible. So Romans 12, 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Joshua 1, 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 6, you have to read that one yourself. The entire chapter is referenced. Psalm 56, 3. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. Psalm 118, 6. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Ephesians 4, 32. And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you to the very end of the age. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Romans 8, 31. 
What then shall we say of these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? And John fourteen fifteen. If you love me, keep my commandments. I hope you find that encouraging and I'll see you next time.